Hey guys, this is Question 4 here with a new review for you guys. And yeah, I know I haven't done a review in a while, but that's because I've been really busy, lots of stuff going on. But I'm back with a review for you guys. And you know, today I'll be reviewing Dragon Ball Z Volume 20 Majin Buu, Super Collection by Bondi. Um, excuse the all the shadowing on the figure, it's because the box makes him look dark inside. But anyway, before we get started, I'm going to be starting something new, something pretty interesting for you Dragon Ball fans, um, new fans, old fans, whichever. Um, I'm going to be doing a, like a, be saying a new Dragon Ball fact every review that I make. Not every video, but every, every review, I'll be saying a Dragon Ball fact that maybe you have heard of or haven't heard of before. You know, I'm going to be doing a fact from either one that you guys would probably know of too, maybe something new that you guys haven't even known before, so yeah, just a variety of facts. And um, I hope you'll like this, that I'll be doing this, because I think it's pretty interesting, and I will I might be even teaching myself some things looking up these facts, but yeah, now um, let's get started with this. Um, okay, today's fact. Did you know that Piccolo is actually only four years older than Gohan? Namekians grow and age much faster than humans or Saiyans, seeing as how Piccolo was already nearly already nearly full grown by the age of three. Wow. So when Gohan was four, he was eight. He already looked like and talked and he was like an adult. His probably his mind is way more advanced and everything to have been able to capture all the knowledge he's, you know, gained from only being alive. Eight years. That's pretty interesting. Um, I don't even think I knew that. I know that's kind of, you know, I just, I don't even think I knew that. Or maybe I just slipped my mind, but yeah. Um, it's kind of funny how this Piccolo is eight years old. It probably has something to do with, like, you know, how dogs are way older. Like, even though they're only seven year, years old, or like way older, like and for dog years, it's probably like that, like in the Mechian years, it's probably like, I don't even know how much older, um, after when it's two years, they're probably like eight, 18 years advanced, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying, I'm just kidding, but that's kind of interesting to, to know about that, but, um, yeah, okay, now let's finally get started with this review, okay, I'm reviewing Majin Buu, as I said before. Um, let's take a look at the box. It says Super Rad Collection, volume 20. And Ballsy on the very top is a picture of Majin Buu, if you can see that right there. Being fat and cute. And of course it says Majin Buu right there and in Japanese and everything. And then we look down here in the corner, it says Dragon Ball Z. Um, 20. There is Majin Buu looking all innocent in the box, even though he is not. Well, he is to maybe some extent. He doesn't know much when we first meet Buu, but anyway. <sighs> there he is, being all happy. There, attacking. And then, of course, the same stuff there. Side. Same picture of him and everything. I like the color scheme. It's just like Boo should be pink and black, and even they have the gold, the gold right there, which represents the yellow that he has and stuff like his vest. It looks like his vest. Um, look in the back. Picture, same picture of Boo, all this, and then of course, the figure in the different positions that they have him with and without the cape, and the other figures from the series so far. So now. So we did this box, let's take him out of it and let me show you the figure. Um, this is the side. Oh, you can see my camera. Yes, I use my iPhone to record. And here is Boo. all happy and whatnot. Um, I like the figure. Um, of course I like the Irwin one way 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 better 
Um, that's just me. I really, really like it. But, you know, it was a cool figure for what it was at the time. Here we see Boo close up right there. Um, the only thing I don't really like about him, his eyes look a little bit too, just like really, 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 I don't know, slanted. They look kind of funny. Uh, um, I think he's supposed to look a little bit more. Uh, I, I know his eyes are slanted, but they look like really just like lines. I don't know. When they draw him, it doesn't look as, I don't know, slanted like that. I don't know if it's just me, but, and his smile isn't as big as it should be. His smile should be much bigger because... It's Boo. He's always like really, really happy. I don't know. His his mouth just looks really small in my opinion. Um, let's look down. You can see that his torso kind of doesn't really match much of his other skin, but it's not really that much of a big deal. See the Mojin sign, the M on his belt, and there we go. Look at him on the side there. Side view, of Boo. Yep, that. <laughs> He's hollow, actually. His body is actually hollow. And back view of him. And then, of course, you can remove the cape. And let me show you that. Let me just set him down. I know you can't really see all of him, but... You can remove the cape. Just, you know, insert this piece like that. And then... Here he is without the cape. I think he looks very weird, in my opinion. Like, it just looks really weird without his cape. I don't know if it's just me. Do you notice that? He looks really weird. He looks very odd. It just looks like his head is way out of place. It just looks funny to me. I don't. I do not like how he looks without the cape. So you just just keep it on. Um, you can see that he is hollow because of the screws in the back. He kind of looks like a bootleg, but don't worry, he's not. Um, and yeah, that's really all to the figure. I mean, I can show you the articulation, of course. He actually does have head articulation, which is very interesting because most of these actually don't. His head does move 360 like this, like so, and so does both of his arms. And his legs don't move though, so that's really all his articulation. Um, and that's really it for the Boo. Oh shit, I almost dropped my camera. <laughs> that's all for Majin Boo, Super Bowl Collection, Volume 20. Um, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> um, a little better with the cape on. Without the cape, he's kind of sh really shitty. I do not like him like that. But if I suggest a Boo in this kind of scale, get the, sh get the, the Irwin one. It's way better. I promise. And it comes with B, too. And the Bora cookie. So I suggest you get that. But, um, yeah. Um, I'll put a link down below to where you can purchase him. Hope you like this review. Hope you like the fact. And tell me if you want me to continue doing that. Okay, guys. And, oh, you can see me here. Um, sorry about the delay in my videos. I know I've just been very busy with many things lately, but keep watching. And until my next video, see you guys. Peace. Peace. Bruh.